Okay, gentlemen, how is everyone? Hope everyone is well. I want to just go over with you guys the um, something to think about as far as organization on Blackboard. You got to remember that the LMS, the Learning Management System, is used to actually enhance the learning experience for students so they can get to things, um, assignments, um, information very quickly. They uh, and, and effortlessly, uh, an LMS like Blackboard should be used as a as a tool, as an asset to enhance learning um, for students to explore um, and really um, work within what we call a flipped classroom environment. So it's very it's very important that the LMS uh, is very organized and it's very clear as to what exactly you want to get out of or the students should get out of the experience. So we got to make sure that things are not cluttered inside the LMS. So what I want to do is just um, as far as the discussion boards were concerned, and this is one to grow on. I'm not asking anyone to change anything, but just something to think about for the next, um, next academic year is how we set up the discussion boards. And, and I blame myself because um, I had you guys put it in one folder, which is which is fine. That's one way to do it, but there's a better way to do it. So let's go over that better way right now for discussion boards, because uh, as I would like to, you know, um, pre predict or uh, or make a, a a comfortable prediction that we're going to be gauging on engaging online much more next academic year. So this is something that we have to get used to. All right, so let's. Um, Let's get into it. Let's go into our uh, Blackboard. So we're getting to Blackboard. All right. We go to courses. We go into our course, English 111. Okay, instead of going into instead of going into learning materials, go right into on the left hand side here. You should have all the the groups you are assigned. So it's under my groups. You should have all the groups you are assigned. In my case, it's C four and F two. Okay, so go into I'm going to go into C four group discussion board. And click that. Okay, and then I'm going to click on the actual group inside the board. So basically, just to give you kind of heads up, they already have default forms for us, right? So you don't have to really create a new form because there's a default form for your group. This way, everyone within the English 101 course doesn't have to see your discussion board. Only you and your students will see your discussion board, okay, inside of your particular or specific form. So this is a form that you can use all semester or the academic year for that particular group. All right. And it's something it's a default in the system already. So click on it and then just create thread. And here we can go week week 13 form discussion. Um, please answer th the three questions. All right, and if we want to attach any files, just click submit. All right, and that's it. So now only my students uh, will get a chance, will see that discussion board. And what happens is it doesn't clutter the learning material space because let's just look at the learning materials right now. If we go to learning materials right now, what I tried to do is make it nice and organized. So important student notices, information assignments, five paragraph template. All right, like for instance, this paragraph task assignment, this can actually go in this folder right here. This is to make things nice and neat. Writing resources, so if you have any PDFs or PowerPoints about how to improve a student's writing, they can go inside of there. 
It was week 10 learning objectives, week 11, week 12, week 13. Now, uh, here, um, this assignment here could actually go into your actual students um, section here. So right here on the side here, into your actual group. So you could put that within uh, a task, right? So you can create a task. That way, everyone else doesn't see. Let's just look at it this way. Learning materials is for everyone to see. Everyone within the course. Okay, if you want something for your specific group, then put it here in my groups. Okay? This way, this area right here doesn't get cluttered. You see, we got all this stuff here, B2, and this is kind of anti learning management system okay because this looks very cluttered for the student this looks very disorganized like a junkyard you ever been to a car junkyard and cars are just all over the place and not organized and only the owner knows where everything is well in a learning management system everyone who goes into the system should see the ease of use in the system okay um if I can, let me just show you learning management system for my doctoral program. I'll just show you very quickly. Uh, I like to make these videos short, but I think just so everyone can kind of see how it, it looks real time in a university. Um, so let's sign in. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go to Blackboard. You see how everything LMS is very user friendly here. You got student dashboard. All my courses are right here. Uh, so let's go to 703. All right. And see how everything is just nice and neat. Okay. Course content. And then everything is here. Course guides. So all the instructions for all the assignments, what I need to do week one, what I need. So if I will need to do for week five, I know I'm going to be dealing with Horace Mann in the context of common school movement. And then I click here and then these are all the things I need to do. My learning outcomes. This is how it should look for the student and the student uh, uh, student um, dashboard. OK, on the platform. Nice. And I know this is what I need to read for this week. And here are my assignments. So I click on my assignments. Then I got a discussion board. You notice there's a discussion board right here. I got annotated. Uh, this is I got an annotated bibliography that I need to do, and this is where I turn it in. So I could turn the annotated bibliography uh, right here. If I go back to uh, let's just go back to assignments. If I go here, I have the instructions of what I need to do. All the instructions. All right, for what I need to do, annotate the bigger bibliography. And there's a rubric there, there's a template there, and there's the instructions. Okay, this is how it should look for the student. Nice and easy. I don't have to really go searching for things because things are nice and, and organized. But if you look at ours, it, it's 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 not that way. It could be that way. Um, we just have to utilize your groups when you want to send something specific to your group. Now, because of the model that we had this this semester, you know, because of this kind of rush, we're kind of just throwing things on the board. So um, this is one to grow. Like I said, I'm not asking anyone to make any changes right now. But for next year, you want to really consider organize, organization. What do you want to put in learning materials for everyone to see? OK, so like, for instance, I, I, I know for a fact that the chancellor went into our group this weekend and he saw this. Right. Do we want the chancellor of the school seeing this disorganization? I don't think so. So what you want to do is you want it when you post something, because everyone has the rights to post. When you post something, ask yourself, is this if it's if it's something that everyone you want everyone to see, you want to share this with all the students then it needs to go into learning materials. If you don't, if you only want your group to see it, then it needs to go into um, your in, my groups. Okay, and then you can you can assign it, and it, you only your groups will see it. You want to create a journal. If there's um, 
again, a, a task you want them to do. Uh, you know, you can create a group task. All right. All that stuff right here. Okay. Due date, priority. All right. You can, you can set all that up into groups here. Okay. So just something to think about, guys. I hope this helps you out. Um, just learn it. Remember, LMS is supposed to be enhances the learning experience, makes information very uh, simple and easy to navigate. Okay. Thank you guys for your time. I hope everyone is safe. I'm praying for everyone.